Cosmic here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have the third starter deck unboxing for Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. And I'm very excited leading up to the launch and also the digital client that is dropping at the end of this month. So if you're unable to find starters, you at least have the digital client that you can look forward to. And we have Broly today. So if you love ramping and just playing big, dummy, thick, strong dudes, then this is the list for you. So uh, really quickly, just showing off all sides of the box for those that are interested in kind of what it looks like. Um, and then the one thing I really mention that I really like is that each of these starter decks do come with a pack where you can get one of seven cards foiled and I'll kind of do the comparison there at towards the end um, and we also will talk about a metal list at the end that you can look forward to in terms of upgrading your starter deck so there are like at the time of recording day one events happening in Japan right now so I did you know scour Twitter or X whatever for all the lists that I could find and at least found one list per starter deck so uh, maybe you're starting with green maybe you want one of the other starter decks make sure to go check out those videos as well I will include include a upgraded starter deck list in every single one of them. And again, all credit goes out to the Japanese player base for sharing the list on Twitter and all that good stuff. So with that, let's get right into it and talk about the cards overall. So get that out of the way. Uh, of course, you know, you're going to have your like your play mat and your rule stuff. The booster pack would be on the back here. And then lastly, you'll notice that each card or each pack does have a code card on the back. I'm not going to show the other side because that's my code card. Um, that'll let you redeem it in the digital client for a copy as well. So I am, again, very excited for the digital client um, because it's going to be like Pokemon where everyone's just getting digital code cards and able to, well, one, they'll probably be che really cheap on the secondary market anyways, right? Like people are going to have extras uh, for those that are like chasing alt arts and all that good stuff so definitely players will be able to get their hands on them and then also it's just really nice to be like hey i bought this starter deck but now i can also play it digitally if i want to so starting things off and i'm probably gonna say this at the end but just in case the fact that i don't i am gonna show off a broly list at the end of this video but both broly and gohan kind of share a lot of what they want to be doing anyways right it's a lot of hey i'm ramping into this big threat sort of thing so a lot of those lists do overlap quite a bit green's effect is really just like hey i want to get rewarded for ramping right and we will see some of that in the starter deck but you'll see a lot more of it in the main set and again we're going to do a case opening and all that stuff so we will get to it when we do so with Broly, we have the traditional when attacking. And then what's interesting about this is that you actually do lose an additional life when you awaken because it goes into your uh, energy. So you do actually get another ramp that way. However, whoo, that 25K, you get an extra 5K defense basically um, for your effect. So it's really nice that it can give you that extra 5K boost. I think that the Gohan leader will be uh, better in the end for what it wants to be doing, but it is really nice that this once per turn is actually both turns. So as long as you can combine this with the uh, another card in the set that lets you recycle your energies for free when you pop one of them, this is now a 30K on both turns. And now we're talking a 10K swing above a lot of what your opponent wants to be doing from their leader side. So from a purely defensive standpoint there's a lot of value you can get out of this leader uh but again it is a little bit scary to immediately go down to three when you awaken because of the other effects so uh definitely keep that in mind this is one that you're gonna have to play uh very carefully in terms of how you're sequencing your turn so as normal bondi standard uh for these starter decks you are going to want to buy two of them because you only get two of each super rare in them and these are quite good it turns out a lot of these lists that you're going to be seeing from like the day one meta staples are going to be including four of each super rare uh from the starter deck so up first i'm so sorry i gotta call them turtles because the first time i saw this card i thought it was turtles and i was just like what is going on um and my brain can just not not read this as turtles now i'm so sorry i'm sure someone's gonna grill me for it but uh we do have our first super rare from it which is going to have critical which again a nice card denial and on play add up to one card with cost three or more from your drop to your energy so uh, again there's ways that we can just combo out and make sure that we get something to our discard uh, but depending on what you draw into this can be not as consistent as we'd like but we will see some cards later that just give us the pure ramp anyways um, and there are some other cards in set one that can help out again with trying to get us uh, something in the discard to make sure we can get that ramp and then we have the big boy, the 8-drop, the 45K Broly. Woo! Uh, on play, draw a card. So, hey, just drawing cards is always good. And then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. This is just a flat-out, hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm going to draw a card. You lose your best dude, and I got a 45K attacker, which is going to be a nightmare to guard against. And then on top of that, when attacking, switch this card to active. So this is now a double attacker, double attacking 45K. 
we are ending the game with this guy. Um, he, you know, you're going to get both those hands uh, coming across the table at you. So I'm very excited to, to get this sleeved up and getting all my copies of this because, uh, yeah, that eight drop, uh, go hard. Going on from there, we have Angle, which is our early critical. So again, with green, a lot of it is going to be more board control focus or just wanting to make sure you're very protective in that early game to not give your opponent a lot of advantage. But at the same time, you don't want to just really fall behind either. So critical is going to be really important for the strategy to make sure you are denying your opponent cards out of their hands so that your haymakers can come down and really clean up the board that way. So we have four of those. Let me put those to the side again. There we go. Uh, Shimoyan, we have one drop blocker. We talked about this um, quite a bit in the other videos, but hey, just as we've seen with One Piece, early drop blockers, very much appreciated, very much looking forward to. Those are going to be staples in every deck. We have four of those. We have Nappa, which is just a two drop 10k blocker, 20k power. Um, again, I probably should have mentioned this in the blue deck video as well, but I'll mention this one. I did mention the red one is that at some point, you definitely need to make sure that you have enough block values in your hand. What I mean by that is this 10k on the side, where if you look at the Broly, uh, it has just zero, right? So you do want to be mindful about how much guarding power you have, because at some point you might just end up with a handful of plus zeros and you just lose the game on the spot, right? If anyone's played like Vanguard or One Piece and gets stuck with a bunch of 5Ks, uh, you know how bad that feels. So definitely keep that in mind when you're building your deck that you have a good amount of plus 10Ks as well. So you can at least have some defensive options. Uh, Paragus there with his uh, cycling the blocker. Really love this card. Another one I think is going to be pretty important for uh, at least a starter deck meta or just any type of recycling if you really need that blocker. Uh, because it is a once per turn, you know, you do things like combo aggressively comboed away for a 5k block. Use this, get it back, have a blocker on your side, right? It's just really nice to see the flexibility that this ultimately offers. And then moving on from there, we have the other version, which again, nice 10k body or 10k defense, I should say. This is the self awakening. So on play, you're going to add one card from your life to your hand. And then when attacking, if you have Broly, so again, in Dragon Ball, especially like in Digimon, a lot of the times we will see like the family type or the archetype matters, right, for a lot of these cards. So you do want to be locked into the Broly leader at this point. Um, and you have no of the none of the blocker on your battlefield. You get to add it from a one cost to your drop, right? Um, you, or play it from your drop, not just add it. So this is another way to get back that one cost blocker that, again, you can just combo away for free, you know, attack with another one, get the card back for free again. Um, you can do a lot of shenanigans with this and just the recursion side. Moving on for some vanillas. We got a 30k, 10k body with Broly. We have Broly number two with a 40k, 10k body as well. Again, getting some nice BP thresholds that makes attacking or uh, guarding, excuse me, really awkward for your opponent. Um, then we mentioned we have Vegeta, which critical. Really, again, deny your opponent that life card that they would normally get that goes from their life to their hand. And then if you have six or more energy, this card gains plus 5,000 power. This is not a only during your turn. This is just a flat permanent effect. So keep in mind, things like this uh, do pop up. I think it's the only one in the starter deck for this one. Uh, but there are other cards in the main set that will have this like if you hit overflow, right, from to use a Shadowverse equivalent. And this is a very common thing we see with ramp decks. It's like if you surpass a certain condition in the number of energy you have or resource, mana, whatever, uh, gain an additional effect. So really love that we see this in the starter deck. Does come up in the set one as well. And so Vegeta here getting a nice 5k bump for when you meet that condition. We have then our super combo, our nice four of per deck. Uh, probably you've watched the other two videos by now, so I won't do my normal disclaimer on it, but uh, something that is very good to guard with and gives you a nice 20k defense option when you really need it. Then we have Moa, the top five cards of your deck. It's really nice to find your uh, Paragus in case you want to do the start the cycling or an extra card. And as we're going to see with one of the extra cards very soon, uh, finding those extra cards is extremely important in this deck in particular. So... You want to jam this guy turn one every single time you can. And a lot of times, even like two, turn two, turn three, right? It, it's still fine because you're going to be wanting some of those extra cards anyway. So uh, very nice one drop for this type of ramp deck in particular. Uh, Raditz, 10k blocker, that's our 10k guard. That's all he's really doing. Uh, and now getting into the event cards itself. So uh, Gigantic Meteor, this is something we've seen in all the starter decks. It's a 15k boost. And then this one, so, you know, the red one had a special condition. The blue one had a special condition. And this one for green, if you have six or more energy, that card gets plus 10,000. Whoo! So this is a 25k, uh, you know, defensive option. That is absolutely huge for the green deck and just shutting off an attack when you really want it. And then, of course, 
we have our oh yeah and by the way there's the energy marker it's the coin we've talked about that enough uh in these videos already and then last but not least my beautiful favorite is destructive strength it is just your flat out it's time to ramp right wonderful card i was actually super lucky and i got the full art version as well from the packs as i mentioned these can come in the foil packs in each starter deck you get one of seven cards and i mean Maybe it's because it just has so much white text and a lot of the other ones aren't nearly as bad, but I think this one is like the by far the best looking and the best hit um, in terms of like an art upgrade that you can get from the starters themselves. So really love this. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to, you know, it depends on like what I pull. If I get really lucky, my pulls, I want to get three more of this, but we'll see if I end up doing that or not. And then lastly, I did get another, oops, put that on the side. Uh, I did get another super rare full art as well. So Again, especially for this one, right? Like, if you think about the comparison between, uh, and I'll put the destructive strength, like, back there so you can still see it in frame, right? Like, if you look at the destructive strength side-by-side -side versus, like, the super rare side-by-side, -side, like, they're both, like, these are both fine. It, they're just okay. Like, this little bit of upgrade doesn't matter nearly as much. Like, I think the base super rares actually just look fine. Um, I do like the, the, like, the extra white on the bottom because, like, the names then pop out a little bit better. Um, but that's it. Like the text box, I think, is not as noticeable on a lot of these cards compared to uh, the uh, events that we get to see, right? Or the extras. I'm going to keep calling events. I'm sorry. I got one piece on the brain still. So that is for our alt arts. And of course, I'm going to put up a quick deck list here. Again, thanks to the Japanese community for sharing these out on Twitter. This is very much a day one list. And as you can see, is very heavily influenced by the Broly starter, right? Only a couple cards that are ultimately different. Um, shout out to that uh, secret rare card. It looks so good from the photos that we've seen on Twitter and whatnot, even in like the base rarity form. So um, the alt art of that is just going to go hard. I can't wait to see it, um, you know, in person, like getting to see it up close, but a lot of good stuff there as well. So with that, that is the FS03 or the Broly starter deck. Again, leading us up to the launch of Fusion World with the booster packs coming out uh, the next Friday at the time of recording this. And we do have a case hopefully coming. So definitely look forward to a case unboxing and make sure to subscribe for a future fusion world content uh mostly focusing on the digital client but with that my friends stay safe stay hydrated and we'll see you in the next video cheers